Good morning. My name is Mike Queen. I'm with Mobile Electric Power Solutions, commonly known as MEPS. Uh, we're out of Garland, Texas. I'm here at uh, Fraser today to show you our basic uh, mobile power system. I'm going to start with the generator here. Um, it typically is our 6300 watt generator that we put on most ambulance packages. It does mount under the hood in its own bracket. Uh, it gets mounted to the side of the engine. Uh, another pulley gets mounted to the front of the engine and we go into our own belt loop. Uh, it produces the uh, raw power, you might say. Uh, it comes out as a three phase through the pigtail that comes, comes through it. Uh, what happens then is it goes into our ACU box. What the ACU box does is it takes that power and converts it, cleans up this frequency, and puts out pure sine wave power. Our frequency is introduced with the electronics. It's our crystal control circuitry that we use, so it doesn't matter what the engine RPM is, it always produces 60 hertz. They're connected by uh, a 20-foot cable, uh, so and it's all plug and play. There's no, no wiring to it. Uh, typically, like I say, this is under the hood. This will run under the body and come up inside a compartment where this is mounted. It needs to be mounted in a cool place. It needs circulating air to go around it to keep it cool. The remote panel is another key part of it that, that you would see mostly. It will tell us uh, how it's operating. It will also tell you what kind of power that you're getting out of it at a certain RPM. It's got 10 LED lights on it, and as you increase the power, you're, uh, you'll see it on the LEDs. As you increase the RPM with the same power, the LEDs will go down, telling you that you'd be able to put more power on it. When you crank up the truck, it will give you 4,000 watts, which will run all of your AC power and your refrigerators and any other things you might have plugged into it. The remote's plugged in uh, right here in this port with this 15-foot cable. This is typically mounted fairly close to the box. You don't need to use this to turn it on and off. When you crank up the truck, it's on. When you turn the truck off, it, it turns itself off. Uh, to connect to the power, this is our AC power port. We have the mate to those in our ignition kit. So you would put your, crimp your SO cable into these three, they pop into here, and then this plugs into the box. It has two screws that securely hold it. Uh, it does come with a couple of fuses. The fuses are right here. This is our field fuse, uh, just safety. And then uh, we have four mounting screws that go into uh, each corner. It can be mounted any direction, flat, on the side of the wall, on the ceiling however you need to put it in as long as it has fresh air going through it. Uh, the ignition kit, uh, uh, this goes to your keyed ignition. So it would be, when you turn your key on, it would uh, excite the logic boards and turn on. When it doesn't see that 12 volts, it will turn off. So that's the best way to set one of these up. Uh, the cable typically, I, like I say, runs underneath the truck and pops up. We, have a standard 20 foot that comes with our system. We can go up to 50 foot for the longer vehicles that might need more uh, length, so that won't be a problem. The uh, throttle control, uh, when you stop the truck and set the emergency brake, it throttles up to about 1100 RPM. That way that gives you the full capabilities of our 6300 watt generator. When the uh, emergency brake is taken off, it throttles back down to normal, so you can have normal operation. But this is our basic system. Uh, this is our 6300 watt. We go anywhere from 3000 watt up to an 8000 watt. Typically on, on these trucks, we do run a 6300 watt. That's the best system for these trucks. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you have any questions about the MEPS on a Frazier, please give Frazier a call. They'd be happy to help you.